I owe... I owe... I owe you everything. No, you don't. I'm sorry I couldn't save your sister. I was there. It wasn't your fault. I was paid to protect her, and I didn't. Was she married into a sick family? Maybe. I... I just wanted to say thank you for giving us a chance to live. I mean, as a family. I hope it all works out for you, for all of you. Thank you. Don't be too long. Well, buddy, that's it. Where are you guys gonna go? Uh, I don't know, maybe back to New York. Uh, maybe down to Argentina. Giovanna has family in Salvador. Maybe we'll just stay there. Yeah, I got business to take care of. I, I'm sorry I, I dragged you into this. I know, uh, I know it was very wrong. It's all right, it's done. But hey, I'm having myself a fun old time. Maybe this is how things had to be. Figure I might as well die in the sunshine as die in the snow. Look, I'm sorry I'm leaving. I, I got a kid coming, you, you know how it is. I know how that is. You know, I, I almost didn't say goodbye to you. I said to myself, maybe this guy will put a bullet in me. <laughs> Maybe I will, but not right now. Thank you. Try to look after yourself, Max, huh? Life is worth living. If you say so, pal. I thought I was going to have to witness another murder. <laughs> nah, not him. You ready? I guess. Okay. I've uh, looked through this information you gathered. Uh, it's not very nice. What is it? It's the Ufe. The famous Mr. Becker. Friend of Victor Bronco. <laughs> yes. And a contributor to his campaigns. A government employee, of course. And? A weapons dealer. A murderer. This was known. A dealer in human organs. This wasn't known. A proper gentleman. Mm, sure. So you're gonna bring him down? <laughs> yes, because I want to lose my wife and my children and then get killed myself. All that after watching him walk free. Tell me what has to be done. Well, officially, there's uh, nothing I can do. And unofficially? Well, we can always try something a little more creative. De Silva had promised me a 10 o'clock showcase. I had to make sure I was on stage and ready for my close-up. Diga a Becker. Que vim para ele. Convidado nosso, quebra esse otário aí. Deixa comigo, dá uma lição nele. <risos> então, pai dela não diz. Patrão, filha da puta! Atrás de inocência! Por que é que você vai fazer contigo? Eu vou aqui! Eu não sei que você vai me proteger, caralho! Tá pensando o quê? Ah, onde é que você vem? Ah, é, fica aí, cara. Ah, eu? Se fudeu, ah, filha da puta. Otário! Ah, ah, aí, não, aí, não, otário. Não, Deixa eu sair daqui, velho! Ô, 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 segura a porta aí. Ah, eu vi uma outra versão. Ô, tá aqui, ô. Nada mais do que aquela parada lá, hein? Morou. Valeu, amigo. What are you 
doing here? Huh? I ask you a question. Answer him! Answer him! What, what are you doing? What? What are you doing here? Que você está fazendo aqui? What are you doing here? I, I don't understand. I can't hear you. What are what you doing you here? What are you doing here? Hit me in the ear. Hey, answer me. What are you doing here? Back in the precinct after all this time. Time to find out what the hell was going on. Nothing resembling good times lay beyond that. I guess our little stunt helped some other civic minded people raise valid concerns about community relations. Their faces said it all. I was on their side, but how could they know that? If they came through that door, I'd be leaving as a human shield and never leaving at all. Once the police arrived just in time. It sounded like all hell was breaking loose. Whatever nonsense De Silva had pulled, it seemed to be working. It was time to leave this palace before somebody treated me to an extended stay. The last few prisoners were trapped in here, more pressingly, seemed I was too. Monday's arrest log, as far as I could tell, and no sign of anybody from Nova Esperanza. All those poor bastards have been checked straight into the Imperial Palace Hotel.
The security switch had to be in that booth. Either there was a switch to those doors somewhere, or I was in a whole heap of shit. kid had had the right idea. There was no point bouncing bullets off that thing. I decided I'd try to pick up where he left off. And then immediately regretted that decision. Wasn't this nice? The perfect end to a perfect trip. If someone had told me six months ago this was where my life was headed, I'd have ordered a double of whatever they were drinking, drunk it, then blown my head off. Another dark, rainy night. Another police station. Another futile crusade for amends. Time moves forward, and nothing changes.
They'd come from the control room. It looked like the security cameras were still running. It looked like the prisoners were giving them a run for their money. That's what happens when you hand some roided up halfwit a commando uniform with special on the front and let him ride around his hometown in a tank playing soldiers. Sooner or later, someone's gonna decide he's not so special. There were a bunch more in the elevator tooled up like they were about to roll into Fallujah. And of course, they were headed my way. was rising. That meant I was getting closer to the source. I had to keep moving. If there was one thing I learned since being in Sao Paulo, it was that me and the local elevators were not a good mix. Whatever depressing fate lay on the other side of those doors, there was no point in putting it off any longer. Killed more cops than cholesterol, and still no sign of Becker. 
It wasn't the first time it dawned on me I should probably have gone over the plan in more detail. But it was too late for that now. I still didn't know how I'd gone from drinking myself numb in New Jersey to looting corpses in Brazil. But this was where I was. 5,000 miles from a home I couldn't go back to on another suicide mission to clean up a mess that wasn't even mine. <laughs> 